Hi, welcome. In this session, let us look into type of assertions in PyTest. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So, for example, say if we have a test where we know that we are going to get an exception from one of our tests and we want to test that scenario. In usual scenario, if you write a simple test with the PyTest asset, it's going to throw an error and it's going to fail the test. But we don't want to fail the test. We want to check that the API call or our test throws an exception and we are sure that our function is working properly in that scenario as well. This kind of asset raises are highly used in unit or integration test scenarios where actually we are expecting an exception or an anomaly from our application under test. And if we don't get that exception, then it is not correct or actually it's a failed test. Let us create another test file here inside our PyAssertions folder. We create test underscore module 02 and let us start to write our test case 01 so for writing our test for the pytest raises we need to define it like this pytest dot raises and then under this pytest dot raises exception we will write our test say for example let us test um, something which we already know this is going to throw an exception because we are trying to divide an integer by zero okay so the other thing is you we need to import the pytest library in for this test so import pi import pi test and this is going to find so we know this is going to throw an error and what we are doing here is we are expecting an exception from this assertion so we'll just run this test to see that it is passed so you see here the test case one is passed say for example i don't have this pi test dot raises ex exception and we run this test what happens is we our test is failed with a zero division error division by zero which is actually the correct result for this uh, division which we are doing and this is one simple use case we, uh, for checking the pytest raises assertion in python and in pytest so the other thing which we can add is we know that one divided by zero will raise a zero division error so instead of giving the exception we can actually just put the zero division error if we know what kind of exception or error it's going to throw and let us run this test again to see that this test got passed so this way of writing like if we know for specific what type of exception is going to throw then we can actually mention that inside this function pytest.raises call zero division error and this is actually a good way of writing now say for example our test did not raise a zero division error and and it raised another type of exception like for example i'll just put three is greater than three which is actually go, not going to raise a zero division error but it is going to raise some other assertion error let us try to run this and see that this test will fail because it is raising a assertion error and we are trying to catch a zero division error that's why it failed so let me just comment this one and enable this to make this uh, to make our test pass for this test case zero one okay now that was one way of writing the test for the pytest raises let us look into another way of writing the test say for example we want to know what is the exception that came out of our test and we want to assert on the ex exception so for that let us try to write another test case test case 02 and we will have, we will write the same thing pytest raises and exception and uh, say we want to assert on a tuple here and this is one two dot four you know this is going to give us an assertion error and what we want to do is we want to print the exception as x info so if we want to see the exception we can do is x info and we can look into the exception so let us try to run this and let us see that exception info assertion error got raised so this is the print statement which came out of this line and let's convert this to string can typecast it 
to string and try to run it then that's what so this is the print statement this is the exception which we are getting when we are trying to assert on this tuple which is not similar and then we we got the exception in this variable exe info and we printed it so this is how we can see the exception if we are not sure what exception is going to throw let us try to simulate a real-time use case if we have a unit test and we have a function and that function we have an error scenario and we want to raise that exception so let us assume we are raising a value error exception and we are raising some exception function one raised and uh, we have other lines of code here and uh, yeah, for some condition we are raising a value error exception function one raised and then what we can do here is we can comment out we can comment out this line and what we can do is we can call this function one which is actually going to raise an exception this function is just raising an exception it's not doing anything and in our test we are just uh, trying to make it pass and uh, once an exception is caught so let us try to run this test and you see here exception info value error exception function one raised now what we can do is we can actually assert on this exception so string dot sorry dot value and uh, we can actually match with this exception excep exep we can match up with this exception exception one raised and let us try to run this and our test is passed here so say for example this function one is raising some other uh, error in another part of the code i have another exception here which goes and raises index index error function one raised and but uh, in our test we are already capturing exception function one raised and when we run our test then this test is going to be fail index function one raised is not equals to exception function one raised expected is this one and the actual raised is this one so this is how you can capture your test or capture your errors in real time so that's about the pi test dot raises assertions in pytest and how to write with pytest dot raises assertions and how to use it in your test and this would be really helpful when we are trying to test some negative test scenarios in either unit testing or functional testing that's all in this video hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching